Alright guys, today's video is going to be on my Nexus 7, Galaxy Nexus, Droid Razor Max, basically a little bit of everything of what I have here. Um, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is, uh, basically I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you can get into what's called safe mode on these devices. Any device running Jelly Bean has a safe mode, kind of like Windows has a safe mode, Android has a safe mode. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the reason you're going to want to do this is if you have some kind of application in here malfunctioning or being really goofy but you're not sure what and you want to try to eliminate it and then just see if it's the device or if it's an actual application you've installed. So first I just want to show you what's on here. You can see I have a bunch of applications and then you can see I have a ton of games up here um, and a whole bunch of applications I've installed that are not um, just what comes on the device. Uh, so, that being said, you can see those things are there. I have widgets too that, you know, a whole bunch of aftermarket widgets or after not stock widgets. You know, it just keeps going and going and going. So, just so you guys can see that. So, basically, what you're going to do on all three of these devices, this will work, uh, is you're going to hold down your power button and then right here where it says power off, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your finger on it. And this is going to come up right here. This says re reboot to safe mode. So it says, do you want to reboot into safe mode? This will dis disable all third-party applications you have installed. They will be restored when you reboot again. So we're just going to go ahead and boot into safe, uh, safe mode, reboot into safe mode. I'm just going to show you on my uh, Galaxy Nexus here. It is the same thing. You just power off, hold power button. And then same thing, you can reboot. Um, so like I said, this is this is true for all Jelly Bean, um, Jelly Bean operating systems. So again, power off, and then hold it down, and reboot to safe mode. So like I said, this is across the board. Any device that has uh, Jelly Bean on it, you can do this on. So let me just let these three reboot, but I'm going to show you on my Nexus 7 here exactly what uh, safe mode is, a little bit more in depth here. So hang on a sec. Alright guys, so it looks like my Nexus uh, 7 has rebooted. This is what I want to show you right down here in the bottom left. Right here it says safe mode. Right by my finger right down here. So basically, you can see you still have all your uh, shortcuts on here. But this is what you're going to notice is different. When you go into your app drawer now, boom, I have one page of applications, not three. This is basically only the stock stuff that's on your device. It does have super user because that is put into your app folder, not into your aftermarket app folder. Um, so that stays on there. But everything else is just what comes stock with your device. So you can see that. Um, and then same with your widgets. All you have is stock widgets here now because you are in safe mode. Okay. Um, so it basically keeps all those things from, from running. So if you had something that was constantly crashing or something like that, you go into safe mode and you could say, okay, well, the device actually works fine if that whatever application is crashing is, you know, messed up. So then, okay, let's, let's go ahead and uninstall uh, whatever it might be, you know, Twitter or Facebook that's not working correctly and try reinstalling it and that might take care of your issue. But safe mode just allows you to get your system running and it's just running stock applications only. So it's kind of a test thing to, just like Windows, you know, you're afraid some kind of virus or something's in your system, you're going to boot into safe mode and just make sure it can at least boot in safe mode. This is the same, same principle uh, as, like I said, as Windows. So... Um, pretty much pretty easy and then all you got to do to get out of safe mode is power off and then just reboot the device so I'm going to show you just really quick on my GNX again right here in the bottom you can see it says safe mode and uh, same same thing here in your app drawer you're just going to have your couple stock applications so same thing here too you can reboot although I can just do reboot here and it'll actually reboot the device on this one this one you have to power back up and when it's done powering back up it'll be out of it too. Let's see what I got here really quick. Alright, there we go. That And see, you can see down here in the bottom too, it's hard, a little hard to read, but it says safe mode down there. It's in the writing. So again, just like I said, just power off, reboot the device, and you'll be out of safe mode on it. 
So guys, that's pretty much uh, just what I wanted to show you really quick in case you were unaware of that feature in Jelly Bean. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to me right here. Give me a thumbs up also. Subscribe's down below. Thumbs up here. Please check out my new uh, webpage up here, which is rootjunkie.com. Got a lot of good stuff on there right now. Videos, everything, information, very helpful. Also, you could follow me at Twitter right here or Facebook down below, however you want to do it. Appreciate uh, the subscribers. Uh, also, just want to let you guys know, um, when I get up to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to order what I'm going to give away, and I'll be having a video coming on that pretty soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me just show you really quick. You can see we are out of safe mode, and all of our applications are back. So pretty cool. Thanks for watching us, and we'll catch you guys next time.